Hello, in this week's video we're looking at Microsoft Stream. It's available as the wider apps available as part of your Office 365 subscription for colleges and schools and business. So we can see Stream is, is available there. So what is Microsoft Stream? Well, it's a video sharing service that allows you to share videos across your organization, whether that be school or college. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through, show you some of the features and then look at how you can upload a video to Stream. So we can go to Browse and that will allow us to browse for videos within the organization. We can go to My Content and we can look at My Videos, My Channels, Watch List, My Groups and Follow Channels. So we go to My Videos and we can also go to Create and you've got the ability to create a channel create a group or upload a video. So we're going to choose the upload a video. You can see in addition to clicking there we can also just drag files from anywhere to upload them. So we're going to click upload a video and again we could just use the drag and drop feature but I'm going to use the select files and select the video. So I can put in title Could add a description. And select the language. I could upload, uh, I could choose a thumbnail once it's uploaded, so we'll just wait for that to upload. Uh, I've got some other permissions here, so I can either share it with people and I can search for specific people within my organization to share it with. I can add it to a channel or I can share it with my groups. So when it comes to people the great advantage to that is if you were using video to record lesson observations you could upload the video and share it with a specific person within your organization so they'd be able to see it go down to options then you can turn comments on or off and you can auto, ge auto generate a caption file. It's also possible to upload subtitles and when you're ready you can hit publish now. If we just go to details again you can see we've got a number of screens there to enable us to choose a thumbnail or we can upload a thumbnail that we've created already so that could just be a JPEG just like you would do on other video streaming services. So when we're happy with that, we can hit publish. And then we come along to my content, my videos. We can see we've got the two videos there. So we can see how many views it's had, how many likes it's had, how many comments have been added. We can see the date it was added we can see who has the right to view it, so everyone within the organization. We could add it to a watch list. We could add it to a group or a channel, just like we could when we uploaded it. We can edit it. And we can also share, download the original or delete. So we go to share again, just to highlight. We've got the option to share it via a link, so we will copy that link. We can also email it and we can search for a specific person or group we want to email it to and we can also get an embed code. So, and you get a preview of what it looks like when you embed it. So we're going to close that for a moment. If we click onto the video itself. Let's pause that. You can see the sorts of information you like. Up here, you've got the ability to invite others, so very similar to the share feature. If you click on the plus, you can search for people or groups. So you can do that once you've uploaded it, if you wish. We'll cancel that for the moment. So it's a great way of sharing videos across an organization. As I've said already, when it comes to maybe teacher observation or video training and video tutorials for particular bits of software, I can see it being a really useful way of sharing video content with colleagues within your organization. Another way you can share content is to go into 
Microsoft Teams and if you click on the plus icon in your team you can see there are a number of options if you choose stream you can put the title of your video and you can paste in your your link that I copied earlier and click save and you can see each new video becomes a tab so my previous video is there my latest video is there so through Teams and Stream, you've got a great way of creating video content, whether that be tutorials or training videos that you need colleagues to watch, and then you can share them via that process. So if you found the video useful, if you did, please remember to share it, uh, like, like the video, share it, and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.